uh, at the my place of work are a lot thicker and they're they're a better grade of meat I mean as far as the percentage of meat to fat ratio goes uh, my, you usually say about 75 25 or above on your on your higher numbers and the meat is usually pretty good uh, if you slide down below about 75 percent you're gonna encounter a lot of fat and a lot of gristle and you know overall it's not good for your body or your health in the long run it isn't now well, it looks like we're about time to flip these bad boys over oh yeah you see that they're, they're cooking along quite nicely I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here uh, this is my mother-in-law's stove and she'll be home here in about the next hour and a half. I don't want her to come home to a mess. She works hard all day and the last thing she needs to do is have to come home and do more work. And if you clean up as you go, it's less to do when you're done eating. You can pretty much sit back and just do a couple minutes worth of work and forget about it you know have a full belly feel good and not have to sit and waste all your time cleaning up so now that our burgers are getting close we're going to start doing the setup on our buns what I'm going to do is lay all the bottoms down now that these have had a chance to rest they won't stick to the plates and I put my ketchup on the bottom of the bun well, got a little crazy on the ketchup. I'm going to say a napkin to clean that up. Alright, two pickles per bun. We're just going to cut this one in half because I don't feel like opening the jar for another pickle. Okay. See, and there you have it. That's the bottoms. Now these are the tops. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. I'm going to put some ketchup on all of them because everybody that's eating here likes exactly the way I'm making these. And I don't have to go too crazy with the ketchup. Alrighty, let's uh, take a peek underneath these jammers. Oh yeah. Getting pretty close to being done. Uh, once I get these suckers assembled, uh, we'll wrap it up, take a taste test, and see how it turned out. Yeah, they cook quite nicely. You know, once, once you establish how long it takes to cook a burger, you don't generally need to use a meat thermometer. However, if you do, I recommend one of these particular kind. They're digital, and they're fairly accurate in about a degree or two, give or take. But, uh, uh, they've never done me wrong cooking chicken pork turkey whatever have you uh, I'm going to attempt these just to make sure even though I, I usually don't have to They're about 130 right now. So what I'm going to do 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on. Because in the time it takes the cheese to melt, the burgers will finish off. And they'll be about medium, medium rare, barely. Let's see, there you have it. Three cheeseburgers. That's another problem you're going to encounter when you get a high fat content in your meat is there's going to be a lot of splatter, there's going to be a lot of grease in the pan, but you know, you take them off and set them on a paper plate and let them rest for a few minutes and a lot of that will drain off so it's not sliding off your burger and it's, you know, not taking away from the flavor, whatever have you. I'm going to go ahead and shut the heat off now. My cheese is about melted. These burgers are about done. And we're going to temp them out one more time. Yeah. They're done. Boy, she's hot. So there you have it. One good homemade cheeseburger. Look at that. And there you have it. That's my take on these kinds of burgers here. I'm going to take a bite because I'm going to have mine before I serve the other two. One's going to my wife, the other one's going to my father-in-law. Let's, let's take a taste here quick. Mmm. That's a good burger. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Uh, Till next time, everybody. Peace.